In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and beloved Master Muhammad, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. This is the seventh part of a series entitled Discoveries from the Quran. And in this series, I show the superiority of the knowledge of Allah God Almighty in the last revelation to people of the Quran and how the knowledge of Allah is far superior to the knowledge of people in this day and age in all branches of knowledge and how the believer can be the teacher of others by pondering upon the verses of the Quran now the topic presented today is the one you see on the screen engineering applications from the description of seas in the Quran so a person who reads the Quran he sees that Allah God Almighty describes seas in many in many locations in the Quran so we want to see the significance of this and what engineering applications we can derive from how Allah describes sea and ocean in the Quran now if we ponder upon verse number 53 of chapter 25 of the Quran this is the translation and it is he who has let free the two seas one palatable and sweet and the other salt and bitter and he has set a barrier and a complete partition between them so we see that in the Quran Allah when he describes seas he describes the sea there is a concentration on the salt concentration in the sea so Allah says one palatable and sweet and the other salt and bitter so again there is a cons emphasis on the salt concentration in the sea so, and also after Allah describes the concentration of salt in the two seas when they meet, Allah says that He has set a barrier between the two seas. So, we can link the two parts of the verse together. We, see, we can realize that having two bodies of water with, with different salt concentration, one is so salty and the other is sweet, so we have a, a huge uh, difference in the concentration of salt that would create a barrier between them once again so we learn from this verse that if we have two bodies of water two seas for example meeting one has so much salt very high concentration the other is so low in concentration of salt we learn from the Quran that that will create a barrier between them meaning a zone between the two bodies of water having different properties from the two seas and not allowing them to mix together so that's, that's observed from scientific experiments that's observed so what kind of uh, applications we can learn from this so if we this is a very kind of straightforward application if we have a pond let's say and if you pump salt in let's say the lower layer if you pump so much salt so this lower layer will will have a high concentration of salt as stated in the Quran here and the other salt and bitter and of course the upper layer will have a low concentration of salt that would create an artificial barrier between them this middle layer right here like an insulation layer insulation zone between them that will automatically be created now if we have sunlight hitting the body of water what will happen is that the energy from the sun will be absorbed so much in the lower dense layer of water here and because of its density it will trap the heat will not allow it to be kind of um, removed by conviction and other mechanisms so it will trap a large amount of energy and that would increase the temperature of water in this lower layer and has been observed to reach 90 degrees centigrade and here we have 30 so this trapping of heat and increasing temperature of water this hot water can be used for example in heating for in, in electricity generation generation of electricity so this application is from the description in the Quran where Allah tells us that if we have two bodies of water one is sweet or having low concentration of salt and the other is salty there will be a barrier between them and we showed now an, an application of this barrier in real life examples and this is called a solar pond 
And I wonder that people, after use of trial error and trying to figure out this barrier, how it's created, and we see that in the Quran, it's straightforward. This barrier is created by having a large difference in the concentration of salts between two bodies of water. Here is a, a solar pond in the United States, and this the, the amount of heat trapped in the lower layer, the salty, dense layer of water, is so high that it can produce electricity from these solar ponds. So we see, brothers and sisters, that we as Muslims, Allah is teaching us this in a matter of minute, how to produce this solar pond. But because the majority of Muslims deserted the Qur'an, they find themselves in a humiliated state, they find themselves on the receiving end of matters. So the, the solution is to go back to the Qur'an, to ponder upon the verses, and Allah will change the situation of Muslims. They will be the teacher of others. And to know more details about this topic, please visit my website at wwwquran miraclecom This is the website. And you can email me at zaidquran at gmail.com. And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all.